In a previous video, I showed you the brand new Husqvarna T540 XP Mark III. Yes, their latest and greatest top handle chainsaw. And today, we are going to put it up against the Steel MS201T to see if it is in the running to be a strong competitor to this saw. Because we all know this is probably one of the most popular saws on the market for tree surgeons. Let's see if the Husqvarna can stick up to the challenge. Tested by Machinery Nation. Right, so we are going to cut some softwood and I've also got some oak as well. Standard practice, two good timbers to test these saws in. And to be fair, previous comments have said you shouldn't be using top handle saws on the ground, they're for use up a tree. I've got to say, it'd be very difficult to film this test up a tree. So yeah, we're on the ground using them. Hope that's okay. And also, we have filled them both with Aspen fuel. So thank you very much to Aspen fuel for supplying the fuel for this video and Oregon for supplying the PPE. Right, let's get cutting some softwood. Still up first, which has got the Light 04 bar and PS3 Pro chain on it, which we used in a previous video where we put two of these up together. So definitely check that out. Right, softwood first, let's cut. <laughs> Right, now time for the Husqvarna. Let's do it. Right, now time for the oak. Oh yes, still up first. And just so you know, this is 35cc. The Husqvarna is 39cc, so there's four cc difference. Right, let's cut some oak. That's fine, let's do it. I think Hasvana needs bedding in a little bit more, and to be fair, once you've used the saw for sort of you know 20 hours or so, that's when they really come to life. So it does feel a little bit flat. I haven't seen the times yet. Anyway, let's do a bit of wide shots on cutting some more oak, just because well, why not? You know, we've definitely got to do that. So still, then husky, still, then husky, till I get bored. <laughs> Board now. So without even seeing the timings, I can see that the Husky is not quite as fast as the still, which isn't known in their heritage. Husqvarna's are generally quicker cutting than what a still is. But the Husqvarna has performed really well. It's really comfortable. It's really nice. I like the updates that they've done to it. I think once that saw's run in for 10, 20 hours or so, once it really fine tunes itself with that auto-tune 3.0, you'll then really, really see the difference. At the moment, it just feels a little bit flat like some new saws do. But it'll be interesting to see what happens. But anyway, let us know what you think in the comments comments below. Would you change from a steel to a Husqvarna? Would you carry on with Husqvarna after seeing this? Would you go to steel? What are your thoughts? We need to know in the comments. But thank you very much for watching. We're Machinery Nation. We bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit the like button, ding the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!